kettlebell fat buzz. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm gonna give y'all some more fat to buzz off. But I'm gonna make some uh, fried Berria de Res Dorado tacos. Authentic Mexican food. Mexican tacos from uh, in Estilo de Guadalajara. Okay, from from the from the state of Guadalajara. This is this is the recipe they used. Uh, they used beef down there, but mostly cabrito. So, but uh, here 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 here's the ingredients. Oh, these are this goes with the post ingredients. Okay, so so you get some uh, top round uh, roast, some pepper, some salt, and then these are to fry them. They get you an onion, a clove, and garlic. Some of these uh, peppers here, get you some of these peppers, and then uh, you know, they need some oil to, to fry them in. Uh, it says four to tomatoes um, and some corn tortillas. I went ahead and got a corn flour blend because they're a little floppy. Oaxaca melting cheese, corn, um, and some cilantro. And I, I think I already have. Oh, and you need some cumin. Cumin. Um, okay, you need some two two pounds of round roast, three dried guajillo peppers, two dried pasillo peppers, one teaspoon of cumin, three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper, uh, three garlic cloves minced, half a teaspoon of salt some low sodium chicken broth, and then four tomatoes chopped. So we'll probably use five of these Roma, but uh, that's the ingredients so far. And I'm, I'm gonna get everything prepared. Devein and de-seeded the three different types of chili, the guajillo, the anjiles, and the pasilla um, chilies, and they're deveined. And I've already kind of pre-blended uh, the tomatoes, the garlic, salt, pepper, um, and cumin in there. And I'm going to add this to it. All right. And put it on the top. Blend it up. This is going to be the, this is going to be the sauce that's going to go in the barilla. Well, part of the sauce. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend that. And then we're gonna um, take some of this out of here, this uh, chicken broth, but we don't need the seeds. Some, some of the seeds came out, so we're just gonna kinda let me see how I can do this. Maybe I can just kinda pour it in there a little bit. It's gonna be a little hot if I get any of those seeds in there. Let's see. All right, well, I'm gonna have to go get back on y'all with this. So most of the seeds have uh, stayed in there. And then here's this. And we're gonna kinda put the lid on there. And we're gonna chop. Blend it all up. Ooh, look at that beautiful red sauce. I'm gonna make some hot sauce. All right. Okay. So now, yeah, these are the, I forgot the chilies, but I got some of the, these are dried serranos instead of the anjilis. All right, oops. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. Now we're at the crock pot here. All right. And that's, a, that's the two pounds of top, uh, top round roast. And there's the mixture. It's going to go over top of it. All right. Look at that. Woo, cover it up. Man, that's gonna be freaking good. Gonna be nice and Mexican-y. Mmm. Alright. So the recipe calls for six to eight hours. But we'll turn it on high and get it cooking quicker. Alright. And so the rest of this the rest of this stuff here, all right, is for uh, uh, for the actual assembly of the tacos. This is the secret ingredient, 
and these are for the assembly. This is garnish. Okay, we don't need the tomatoes anymore. We can, but we're going to prep the provolanos. We're going to uh, kind of heat them up in a pan, maybe a little bit of olive oil, and uh, we're going to add some uh, some some uh, some uh, corn and kind of saute everything, kind of dice these up, and. Uh, we got some. We got some uh, avocados. We're going to serve on the side of these things too. So, the, so these talk. So these uh, tortillas here. Um, you're going to assemble the taco with this stuff, this stuff, and the Oaxaca cheese. Some people call this a quesadilla, but you'll see why I'm not calling it a quesadilla because this is better than a quesadilla. Well, it could be the ultimate quesadillas, but they ain't really a quesadilla. These are freaking good. All right. So you're going to love it. All right. I'll get back to you when I start cooking the tacos. All right. So I got some uh, poblano pepper and corn, a uh, can of corn and some uh, onions. And these are going to go inside the taco. It's not going to be a lot. You just kind of cook them down a little bit, put them in the taco. And then you also got some uh, cilantro right there. So this is all gonna go in the taco. These are gonna be the best tacos in the world. There, there's the, uh, the mixture there. This is the taco meat. It's in the crock pot. How do you do what now? I want us for you to send me something from your email to me. All right, here's the berea, and uh, take some of this. Some of this. Let's put a little bit of a little bit of cheese. All right, a little bit of berea. A little bit of some, some poblanos that you sauteed earlier. All right, some onions and then some of this stuff here. All right. A little cilantro. And then top it with more cheese. Okay. And then fold it over. All right. Then gingerly set it in there. Fry it. some Oaxaca cheese, some uh, cilantro, and then this mix of corn, poblanos, and onions sauteed. And then we have uh, the pot roast that is our burrito. Mm. And then the fries, true crispy fashion. Okay. Let's see how it's looking.
Oh, I messed up. You get the jest of it. It's deep fried. It's fried. Crispy tacos. Sometimes the ingredients spills out of it. They're very good. It's cooked in olive oil. 